All right, so we've got all these things in our game. We've got uh, some graphics. We've got assets. We've got a screen that we've built. We've got monsters. We've even got a player standing there just waiting for us to be able to move him around the screen. This game isn't much at all of a game until we can actually input something and have something happen on the screen. So we're going to look at input management right now. We've created a, a, a really uh, interesting interface here that lets you see the controller and select what inputs you're actually affecting and then call tell it what script it should call if those things are pressed or being held down or have just been released um, so right now we don't have any scripts so let's load up some scripts I'm gonna click on where it says input scripts here uh, underneath scripts there's a one called input scripts and I'm gonna navigate to basic module scripts movement scripts and then I'm gonna to go to simple input. And I'm gonna load in all, all eight of these. There's four for him to start moving and four for him to stop moving. And no, we're not gonna look at code yet, but I want you to take a quick glance at this just so we can look at the important parts of each of these codes so you know what's happening. Um, let's open up this start moving player down. We're gonna skip all this real quick and we're gonna just look at this and this. And this is what you need to know. This is a macro called start moving and it's gonna start moving which object is it gonna move the player and which direction it's gonna move down. And then it's gonna face direction which is gonna change the literal direction of the character um, so that if you remember in the player right here, What's happening is if I look at object details, I've got my directions right here. So what happens when I press the, the down button is that he's gonna go from action zero to action one, and it's gonna change his direction to, to down. So what I need to do is I need to tell it, let's look at that again. Let me explain that one more time and then we'll, then we'll look at what we have to do in that interface. Um, it's gonna change his state, the object player's state, to one. That's, that's the important part to get from here. It's gonna change his action state to one. It's gonna start moving him downward and it's gonna face downward. His direction is gonna to change to down. So if I go back to my player and I go to object details, I know that in my actions, if I press down, it's gonna change his action state to one. So if it changes to one, what animation type do I wanna show? If I'm holding the down button and he's supposed to be moving, I don't wanna show stand, I wanna show walk. And if, I, if I'm walking, I want him to have an animation speed of something, and I can make this faster or slower, we'll test it. Um, so let me make sure that that took. Walk, animation speed, great. Okay, so um, now if I press down, he's gonna change his state to action state one. He's gonna start moving downward, uh, which activates the physics engine in the game, and he's gonna face downward, which is going to show action state one, walking downward. It'll end up showing this animation which will look like this so that's what that's doing and that's what each of these is doing and when i press when i stop when i let go of the key i want him to stop moving in that direction and then i want him to change his state to zero which was the one where he's just standing so if i let go of the key he's going to change his state to zero uh, if i press the key he's going to change his state to one um, so now let's go to input editor to actually set all that up uh, i'm going to do this in my main game state when I press the up button, I need to tell it to start moving player up. Add the script. Uh, let me, I'm sorry, let me remove that. Uh, not when I press it, but when I'm actually holding it. If I actually am holding it down, uh, I want to, so if I read this like a sentence, in my main game, if I hold up, start moving player up. If I hold right, I start moving player right. If I hold down, I start moving player down. And if I hold left, I start moving player left. Similarly, if I release up, I stop moving player up. And if I release right, I stop moving player right. And if I release down, I stop moving player down. And if I release left, I stop moving player left. 
awesome. And if I like that control scheme, I can actually export that as a control scheme and import it later so I don't have to go through all those steps again. Um, so now, if I run the game, I should be able to control my object. I should be able to move around the screen. Let's test that out. And it should be going back and forth between action state one, which I just set to walk, and action state zero, which I just set to idle. And there he goes. Um, I must not have set up left correctly because my left key is sticking. So let's check that out real quick. My left key is sticking. So let's take a look. I, I guess I missed left completely because I sure don't see left in here. I've got up, right, down. So no problem. When I hold down the left key, I'm going to start moving player left. And I can actually move this up with the other hold. So now I've got up, right, down, left, and up, right, down, left. Awesome. So now let me test that one more time just to make sure. So now I've got input working and I can see that my solid collisions are working. And in fact, when I run into the bad guy, I die. Um, I got hurt and if I get hit enough times, I'll die. And that's death. And we haven't set exactly what death is going to be yet. We haven't talked about that. Um, right now, he turned into the death object. But, we, you know, what happens? Who knows? We're going to get to that. Um, that's coming soon. But uh, next, we're going to look at actually managing the HUD so we can see how much health we have left and things like that.